Uh, we're at the Mississippi River Distilling Company here in LeClaire, Iowa. We're uh, here about two and a half hours straight west of Chicago where I-80 crosses uh, the Mississippi River. We overlook the Mississippi River. You look out any window in our complex and you're gonna see the river. A great quaint historical town of about 4,000 people right outside the Quad Cities. You might've heard of Davenport and Moline. The birthplace of Buffalo Bill Cody, um, which is why our whiskey is called Cody Road. Our distillery sits on Cody Road named after him. More recently, home of the American Pickers. That brings a lot of folks to town. Uh, once they find out there's a distillery here, though, all of a sudden uh, we get top billing. For us, there's a tremendous amount of history. Um, the, the funny thing is I think most people think of whiskey and they think of Kentucky. Oddly enough, most whiskey got its start on the bank of the Mississippi just because of what was happening. It was the major, uh, for lack of a better term, highway. Uh, back before there were highways, before there were railroads and everything else. And uh, what happened was they would clear out all the timber and they would plant fields along the river. Well, the only thing that would plant really well was rock. And so rye whiskey was incredibly popular along the banks of the Mississippi River. So it's fitting that we're here uh, making rye and, and our farmers are just a stone's throw away. Uh, basically growing rye right on the bank of the Mississippi River. So that idea and that concept, um, they've been making whiskey along the banks of this river a heck of a lot longer than, uh, than Kentucky. We kind of feel like this marriage of land and water that happens here is also what we do. And that everything that we make is crafted from grain, sourced from farmers within 25 miles of the distillery. So when we bring together that grain, the earth and the water in our process of mashing and distilling, um, it's somewhat representative of our region here. Most whiskeys go into the barrel at 125, um, which is industry standard, um, trying to get the most out of their barrels and trying to turn the most whiskey that they can. Uh, our process goes back to something that was happening prior to prohibition where uh, you took a little more care and a little more time and tried to get a little more sugar out of the oak. And so by putting it in the barrel at 110, letting those sugars come out, what you're gonna notice is a, a bourbon that is much sweeter, much easier, and even at 105 proof, uh, most people are gonna argue that it's at 80 or uh, just above. Um, it's tremendously smooth, it goes down easy, doesn't give you that bite, that has tremendous flavor on the tongue. Those vanillas and caramels that you come to know from, from a, a good whiskey will be right there on the tongue and just finish easy. In 2010, we helped change a law then that basically changed it so that people could come and take a tour, see the distillery, have a sample, buy a bottle, and go home. And basically bring distilleries to the forefront where breweries and wineries were. And so my brother and I thought, uh, hey, let's give it a shot. We, we put together a business plan and uh, about eight years later, here we are um, with a heck of a lot more barrels than I ever imagined we'd have. As brothers, people often ask us, how do you work together and whatnot? But um, we're very different. Our talents kind of complement each other. He's the analytical engineer guy. I am a former weatherman, uh, a talker, the marketing guy, that kind of stuff. Um, so our talents come together that way, kind of like we talked about with the land and the water. We partner well together and uh, it's been a great uh, relationship from a business standpoint, but also personally to be able to work alongside family is huge. We're authentic, we're unique, and we're delicious. Um, authentic in that it's all from local grain, unique in that these are going to be flavors you're not going to find on your shelf and delicious, I will put the smoothness of our spirits up against anybody out there, and you're gonna find a taste in this bottle that is totally different. So many people are still trying to produce the most alcohol out of the smallest amount of grain. And what we've done here is really put the craft back into it. And it's just a very unique whiskey that you're just not gonna find anywhere else. It's the grain, the land, the farmers, the work ethic that Iowa is all about. Um, we feel like we've tried to reflect that in our products. Rackhouse is in 41 states and they're distributing this for us, uh, putting this out there for people to really to try. 
Uh, we're in a few states here in the Midwest, but outside of that, especially that stone fence is something that is really exclusively here to our store uh, here in LeClaire. So we're excited to kind of send that out to those uh, 41 states and let those folks have at it. Everybody's gotta go to Rackhouse Whiskey Club and try Mississippi River Distilling Company. You're gonna love it.